This falls into the category of special occasion speeches. So there is an event that is prompting a speech or a person to share some thoughts publicly. Um, there are a wide variety of special occasion speeches. A couple of them that I have pulled out, um, well, for instance, the Gettysburg Address. Probably one of the most famous speeches and most memorized speeches. Fairly short. Uh, Abraham Lincoln made it at the commemoration of the battlefield as uh, a cemetery and a memorial, I guess. It's hard to say a park, but that's not really the right word. But here's an event we're dedicating this battlefield. He was not the main speaker. Uh, does anybody know who the main speaker? at the event was. Okay, the guy that everybody came to see or hear was Edward Everett. And um, Lincoln's speech was very short and there was a quote, uh, Edward Everett sent a note to Abraham Lincoln later on said, I should be glad if I could flatter myself that I came as near to the central idea of the occasion in two hours as you did in two minutes. Yes, and, and nobody memorizes Edward Everett's speech. Um, your speech is not to be a long speech, but that doesn't mean it doesn't take any work. There are a variety of quotes from different people. I guess my favorite one is from Winston Churchill that kind of say the same thing, uh, but someone asked him, how long does it take to write a speech? And he said, if you want me to speak for two minutes, it will take me three weeks. If you want me to speak for 30 minutes, it will take a week. If you want me to speak an hour, I'm ready now. So the point is that a short speech takes a lot of thought and preparation to get the maximum amount of impact in the fewest words and the fewest minutes. Um, I have been nominated as president-elect for Speech and Theater Association of Missouri. The convention is in September. I've already started working on the speech. It's two minutes. So I have two minutes to say what I want them to think before they vote. Uh, and I have been reworking the speech for quite a while already, and it's still months away. Obviously, you don't have that much time to work on your toast, but you should take a little time to think. The special occasion is the last official full class period of this class. What thoughts would you want to share with these people before you go? Now, occasionally somebody will use a different special occasion and use the class as practice. Uh, my brother's getting married. I'm the best man at the wedding. That's next month, so I'm going to do a wedding toast to him. Uh, and that's fine, you can do that occasionally. People will pick celebrities that they think ought to get married and they'll do a wedding toast to those people. Sometimes even people in the class that, hey, these two people should get married, get, get together, so I'm gonna do a wedding toast for them. If you wanna do that, but again, it's a special event or an occasion, and so you address the audience, uh, you address the situation, you share some appropriate thoughts, and then you close. And so in the book, you kind of see here are some of the things you should have in a toast. Welcome or acknowledgement, acknowledgement, address the situation, the group, the central thought, and the closing gesture or the closing toast. Now, if one of the things you're trying to pick up is use of body language, I mean, obviously, so raise your glasses with me to congratulate these two people. I mean, that's an expression. It also is a way of opening your body up to the audience, trying to include the audience, get them involved. Um, if your speech is short and you've practiced it and rehearsed it, you don't need to look at your notes so you can have good eye contact. So that's a good one to pull into the toast. Again, we talked about, I've got three people I wanna to toast. That sets you up for a great preview. You signpost, you could do transitions between the three people. You do a review at the end, so you can pick up four competencies off of that if you don't already have them in your level four or level five speech. 
So the point of the toast is, I didn't get credit for this, but I know how to do it. I have one more opportunity to demonstrate these competencies so that you can give me credit, add those to my level four speech, add those to my level five speech, so I have your evaluation sheet, I can check them off, put them in, and uh, bump your grade a little bit.